In this video, you'll learn everything about the Latin America Service Design Festival that is taking place between September 23rd and 27th in Santiago de Chile. And I've invited Rodrigo Gonzalez, one of the conference organizers, to tell us everything about this unique event. Hi, I'm Mark, and welcome to the Service Design Show. This show is all about helping you to design and deliver services that are good for people and business. And a great way to learn how to actually do that is by learning from other people who do the same. Learn from their best practices, learn from their challenges, and just make the community grow. And the Latin America Service Design Festival will be a unique event where you can actually do that. So Rodrigo Gonzalez, one of the conf yeah, festival, it's not a conference, festival organizers, um, is here in this episode to help you make a better decision if this is an event you should attend or not. So without any further ado, let's jump straight into the talk with Rodrigo. Welcome to the show, Rodrigo. Hey, Mark. Very nice to see you there. Thank you very much for inviting me. Of course. My pleasure. You're going to do something amazing and unique in Latin America. So I had to have you on the show. Uh, Rodrigo, you're going to uh, organize a service design festival in Latin America. Why are you doing that? And why now? Why not like last year? Well, now I think it's uh, uh, the... Our country and our region is uh, getting the maturity to start doing things like this. I, I already did something similar, but uh, not as big as the one that I am organizing this time. When I brought Mark Stickton and Adam Lawrence on 2017 with their Tease Essentials to Chile, that was a very big event, very interesting, uh, crowded, many people wanted to participate. So this time, I think that we have um, an evolution. Uh, Chile is growing, the region is growing, and also we are trying to develop ourselves in the, the new way of thinking and doing. So the main idea behind this festival is to promote service design as a strategic discipline, as uh, the way that people should create value uh, uh, besides if you are part of the public sector, the academia, or the private sector. So that, that sounds really amazing. Adam and, uh, and Mark are always good for uh, uh, attracting crowds. I know that for sure. So uh, is, there a, is there like a main theme in their festival or are there just many different thi uh, things to do? What's, what's the concept? Uh, the concept is that we really want to... to to show uh, service design um, some, as something uh, helpful for uh, different industries, uh, different uh, sectors of the of uh, the economy, not just uh, for private, uh, um, let's say for private companies. So we have three themes that will be part of, of the festival. Uh, the first well, is customer experience, something that maybe is already known. Uh, most of the people are already talking about that. Employee experience, that is growing quite a lot. I have seen a lot of interest uh, selling this festival to many companies about this uh, new way of uh, treating your people. Uh, uh, and citizen uh, experience, which means that this is, again, uh, we, can, we can be seen as consumers but we are citizens. We move around the city and we need to, to have better services to do what we want to do. And especially for people that have uh, particular problems, maybe uh, with uh, how to handle with public things or how to handle with the, with the streets, uh, how we can help them to do it uh, in a much easier way and also connect it to uh, all uh, the city itself. So this will be the three main thematics but there will be a common factor, which, are, which is technology applied to service design. How technology facilitates your work and how technology uh, today um, is, helping, um, the challenge, is helping to solve challenges that different companies or organizations have. And, um, and let's say that we are starting with the... Uh, artificial intelligence in Chile. We are starting with digitaliz digitalization. 
we are starting with Internet of Things, big data. So I need to make, to put all these technologies as something easy in the same language that common people like me, they are not a, te a techie person, but people uh, understand and understand that it's not uh, always a NASA project. It can be very easy uh, to, to start with and also to implement in your company. Mm -hmm. So how can technology facilitate, enable a good customer experience, a good employee experience and a good citizen ex uh, experience, that's, right? That's, mm. Yeah, that's it. I know uh, you also told me before we started the recording that you're trying to actually uh, make the festival into an experience itself so people will actually experience uh, the experience. Can you tell us a little bit about that? What's the idea behind that? Oh, yeah, yeah. If we are talking about experiences, we have a, a big challenge in front of us. We have to make an experience. I think the best way to show things are, are doing things. So we, the festival is designed as different journeys for different audiences according to the different thematics that I told you already. So um, we will have a mix of uh, content, which is the key part of what we are working on, on uh, but also the social events and also the networking and also to have a culture and music and um, and and we have a few parties even uh, in this place so i think that this mix and the way you design it will also make people understand that uh, you can design experiences mm -hmm. it's just something that appear you can design it so it's definitely not just another conference that people might think right yeah, not a, I am not uh, people that organize events, so I I I couldn't do something that is uh, just to make uh, a follow up of something that uh, was already happening. We we really uh, we have worked very hard to make it something different and something very experiential. Hmm. Who who are you hoping that will attend? So who is the ideal audience? Who should visit? We, we have targeted that to mainly to people that take decisions uh, uh, in companies uh, or organizations and, um, and people that implement that too. I have seen a very uh, lack of knowledge and uh, of service design in, let's say, in the, uh, in the people that has to make the, the, the work already, the job every day. Uh, because most of the people that have a, a strategic position in Chile, they already know that. They travel around the world. They can see that. They they check different videos and maybe they participate in different uh, congress or uh, conferences. Uh, but people that are in the middle uh, of the company and need to do the day-to-day -day work, many times they don't understand why they have to do this. We need to make these people make sense of uh, the, what they are doing. So there will be people in the strategic position, people in the implementing positions of the, of the different companies, but also in a, in a wide uh, range of sectors. There will be the public sector here, will be the academia, will be the uh, private sector too. Uh, so all them mixed together uh, the idea is that they understand that these are not, not, not tools just to make companies wealthier, but is to make people happier. <laughs> and that's what this is the common thing that uh, all these people we have together, okay, to share these methodologies, to share this knowledge, to, to, to share this uh, uh, networking, um, to, to try to push service design in the field that they think is interesting for their organization. Mm -hmm. So a, lo a lot of things going on in this festival, a lot of people coming together, a lot of different backgrounds, uh, citizen experience, employee experience, customer experience, uh, decision makers, people who have to implement. Uh, it, it sounds like a real festival already. Um, from all these things that you've just shared with us, what is the thing that you are looking forward to yourself the most? Uh, 
I, I truly believe in a service design and all what is behind that or uh, in parallel or however you want to call it, all what is the base of innovation with the design thinking, doing, I think is the way we need to do things. I think that if we want to make value, to create value, we need to really understand how what the other people are trying to get from what I am offering in order to make this uh, a, a win-win uh, for, for both uh, sides. So my intention with that is uh, to put uh, the service design as a strategic discipline or strategic field um, for a large and medium and size companies uh, in the different sectors that, that, that I mentioned. Um, I don't want that service design become just a, a, just a trend. Mm-hmm. I don't mm-hmm. want service design is be, is be seen as something that is a protocol, how to serve coffee. Even if it could be important that, uh, uh, my, my way of seeing that is that this has to be anchored to the decision makers and the people that uh, are moving organizations uh, to the future. Hmm. Now, imagine that the festival has ended. It's a week later. It's two weeks later. And you're thinking about the festival. And you're thinking, wow, this has been a huge success. This has, this has been a much bigger success than I expected. What has happened at the festival that, that made this into such a success? Yeah, it's a good question. Eh? I... I, I, I want to see people talking. I want to see people sharing uh, knowledge. I want to see people sharing experiences. Uh, I want to be, uh, see people laughing. I want that uh, by the end, we, our, uh, our moods are different uh, as uh, they were at the beginning of the festival. Um, and I want to see, because we also have some good media partners, and uh, I want to see more and more information about that uh, in different in different platforms, uh, talking about this and the important of uh, this uh, service design uh, discipline uh, for uh, for the future of our country and our region. Uh, that's what I will make me feel uh, happy uh, again. <laughs> I can imagine. Now let's do the uh, uh, let's do the, the 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 I don't know. Let's do the sales pitch because I'm sure that people who are watching this will be excited and thinking, "I want to come there." Is there a w- can they still sign up? And if so, how do they sign up? Yeah, they can still do this. Uh, they can go th- uh, through our platform. This this uh, dot cl. I think is somewhere. Around yeah, I'll there. link that to the down yeah. below. Yeah. Yeah. So you can already buy the tickets for the teas, the DC survey design doing essentials. And uh, in next uh, two weeks, you will be able to buy the tickets also for the festival. We have already done a pre-sale and the pre-sale is doing quite well just for 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 companies that had uh, uh, told us that they wanted to be part of it. So we, we sold a few tickets, but they say the open tickets for public tickets for everybody will be start, uh, will, will, uh, will start in the next two weeks. And uh, for the teas, whenever you want, you just go into the dc.cl and you can uh, check and you can buy it. Uh, uh, you As should long, do it because yeah. we, we have just 10 tickets in, a, in early bird and we have already sold half of them even if our communication plan is not already uh, uh, up. Probably by the time this video is online, all the early bird tickets will be gone, but make sure you check that. And if not, after this video, I'm sure all the early bird tickets will be gone for sure. Um, That would be great. (laughs) I can guarantee that. This is what the service design show does. Rodrigo, um, have a lot of fun. Don't forget to make a lot of fun. You're doing a great job there, stimulating and uh, uh, pioneering and sort of, uh, I'm looking for the word, evangelizing this this uh, thinking and creating a more human-centered world, a world that is about people, not processes. So I wish That's- you all the best. Uh, and who knows, maybe we'll meet each other soon. No, that that would be great, Mark. I I I would like to thank you for the time giving me, uh, and I really invite everybody. I think that uh, 
uh, for sure you will have a, a, you will have a, something new to get to bring back home and for sure you will have a lot of fun with uh, people from all abroad all around the world uh, very interesting people and also very nice people to talk with and to share a nice beer too why not <laughs> so if you're interested in attending the festival check out the website that is down below in the description of this video to see if there are any tickets left if you enjoyed this video and uh, make sure to subscribe if you haven't done so already because i'll be covering all the major service design conferences that will be happening this year thanks so much for watching and i look forward to seeing you in the next video